Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I have my coffee shirt on. This is an awesome coffee Christmas shirt that I got from my sister, Maria. Thank you, Maria. My little sister, not just a friend sister, but a sister sister. My sister, my little sister, Maria. I'm actually the oldest of three kids in my family. I'm the oldest, and then it's my sister and then my brother. So hey, you guys, if you're watching got my Santa mug. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that I do have merchandise for the holiday season? I know, although by the time you get see this, you might have to get it for next year because I have no idea about like the, the way things are shipping and all that kind of stuff, but check out my merch. It's linked below. I have it sitting here. I did a reveal. Ho, ho, hope. There is a black background and the white background. Nice, huh? Yeah, I should give one of these away. I should do that. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe I should do that. I'll have to think about a fun way to do that. Hmm. All right, so <clears throat> before we get into Sunday morning coffee today, well, we're going to talk about inspiration, okay? That's the topic is being inspired and it's not what you think it is, okay? Being inspired doesn't mean you're super happy and so productive all the time. Being inspired can be simply getting the energy to just get out of bed. If you're dealing with depression, if you're um, facing a, a health crisis, if you are in a place mentally where you just don't feel like facing the world, inspiration can simply be taking a shower. It can come from a lot of different places, right? But it is, in a way, there is this energy of an action that happens, like a giving and a receiving. So we're going to talk primarily on being a receiver of inspiration. But in order to be a receiver of information, you have to reach out and take an action in order to get it. So it might mean picking up your phone. Like I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to go through and share with you some of my inspirations, right? I'm very auditory right now. I'm learning that sense, my senses, I'm super auditory. So senses and the way we sense and feel things is extremely important, especially as an intuitive, especially as a heart-based person, as an empath. And you've heard me talk about empath, being an empath a lot. And you definitely are one if you follow my work at all. My Okay, my hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these little things. Yes, Bridget. Yes, Bridget. Okay. All right. So I can see it. It looks like it's glowing. So it's bugging me. Okay, here we go. So sensitive. I'm so sensitive. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. So my senses, sensory stuff, I'm very auditory, which means I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I get inspired, receive inspiration. So the first thing is music. So that's why I have my AirPods in. I go to my playlist. Okay, there's a lot of songs on my playlist. I bet you can bet there's a, ton, a wide, wide variety from country to R&B to old school, like 70s. I got like the Carpenters and the Bee Gees and I've got Prince and Michael Jackson and Rihanna and Beyonce and Nelly. And let's see, who else do I have here? Hootie and the Blowfish, Ario Speedway again. I have Christmas music here. Let's see, what else do I have? I have Foreigner, Melissa Etheridge, Nine Inch, uh, Nine Inch Nails. Got a little sting here. Let's see, who else do I have? I haven't have Justin Bieber on here. <laughs> Sorry, that's the song I have. Uh, Big Head Todd and the Monsters, Timberland, apologize, obviously, I love that one, Roxette, Def Leppard, Paperboy, Diddy, that's the song I have, uh, TLC, Cindy Lauper, let's see who else I have that I can share with you on here. Sarah McLaughlin, Faith Hill, Jennifer Lopez, Maroon 5, Fleetwood Mac, did I already say them? Survivor, I think I already said them. 
Uh, Mark Cohen. Camila Cabello. Lots of Disney songs on here. Dua Lupa. Her on here. Yeah, so lots. Queen, George Michael, Toto. Lots. Got a lot of stuff on here. So I will just grab a song and start listening. Journey. Gosh, I love Journey. That sounds good. Okay, actually, we're going to listen to the one by, I just saw it. No, I just lost it. Um, from Steve Perry. Let's see. Yeah, Steve Perry, Foolish Heart. So I'm going to listen to that for a second. And now sometimes music, especially the auditory piece, the music part, some music can really put you into a state energetically that is lower than what you want to achieve. So the Foolish Heart song might do that for me. So I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to feel the energy as to how my body responds to it. So I'm just going to pick that because Journey feels good. Journey feels like a really good one. So we're going to take that, that band. I'm just getting an intuitive hit from that. I haven't listened to music yet today, so... So I'm going to do the Steve Perry Foolish Heart. I'm going to listen to it in my AirPods after the YouTube ads. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's playing. Oh, whoops, oops, wrong one. I pushed the wrong one. Oh, 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 oh here we go. Sorry, here it is. It's coming up. See? Well, I like how it starts. I'm gonna wait until we get to the refrain, okay? So far it's good, it's kind of making me move. Yeah, it's invoking some emotion. You've been wrong before. Don't be wrong anymore. Wow, okay. So is that inspiration? Is that inspirational? It, it causes me to feel. So I'm receiving the energetic vibration of this auditory inspiration piece, music, and it's causing me to feel. But the words itself now, so the, the music and kind of the flow of it just felt really good in my body and I could really feel in the beginning. And then when the words started going, it caused me to question a couple of the key words. Um, I need a love that grows. Yeah, grows, like growth is a good vibrational energy for me. I, can, I get inspired by the word grow. And then I need a love that's strong, strong, the word strong. Now I'm kind of shifting into a different part of me. So growth feels like expansion and open crown chakra, really great, you know, like good for me. That's, this is how I'm, I'm responding, right? And then the strong feels like my arms automatically like go up and they're like, Ur, and I'm like, oh, if I have to be strong, that must mean that there's challenges. And so then I kind of tense up a little bit. So my shoulders get into place. The meridian across my shoulders doesn't relax and release. It gets like ready to be like, why do I need to love that strong? Like, is it because I'm not? Is it because something bad's gonna happen? Like, like instantly I'm like, oh, alert. So <laughs> the words are creating some conflict with my energy. So as I'm receiving this energetic inspiration through music, the instrumental part is working with me and it's kind of mellow and the beat and I like it and my physical body really, really likes it. I can feel that. I could just listen. I just, oh, I like it. 
jacket. And I like the tone of his voice is great to me, it works for me. So those two things are good, but the actual words then start to activate within me energy that is not all that inspiring. It's more like a vigilant energy or an anticipatory energy. And maybe it's because it's a love song, let's just be clear. Then it causes you to question. And then it's like, um, well, I play the part of the fool again, kind of thing like, okay, am I gonna make a bad choice in life? Am I gonna make a bad decision? And it's like the concept of trying to stop yourself before you start. And it's like, because is this a bad choice? And then, then it questions your judgment. And so <laughs> this is not all that inspirational. However, this may be an inspiring energy because it might cause me to feel and to question pieces or places in my life. It might be about my job. It might be about a relationship. It could be about absolutely anything, but it might bring up the opportunity for me to feel in a safe way some of the feelings that are moving through my body. However, once I finish listening to the song, if my energy is just in a lower place and stays there, that's an issue. Then it's not inspiring. It's not supporting and helping you. So let's pick another song. Music is one of the most powerful ways to change your energy, your mood, and your attitude quickly. And we all know that. So you really got to be mindful of how it sounds, the tone, and the words, because the words are messing with your mind. And it's triggering your heart to feel. And feelings are great, but they're also challenging, OK? Music can be a very safe way to feel. Oh, maybe I shouldn't call this inspiration. Maybe this should be about music. Maybe this should be about feeling. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we're going to keep talking here. We're gonna... Let me get a song that I would listen to if I really, if I want to feel inspired, like I want to feel a pick, kind of a pick me up. Let's see. Um, there's a Michael Jackson song, I Will Be There. That's a good one that I like to, I can listen to for that. Um, George, Michael, and Aretha Franklin singing. I knew you were waiting for me. Okay, I believe I just did that in the microphone. Okay, let's see. Let's pick a good one. Oh, Fleetwood Mac, Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. Let's do that. That one's one that I remember, like from my childhood, I think. It, I remember hearing it. When I was younger too, and I saw my playlist here. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Don't stop. I like how it starts. Okay, this is good. This is so good. This one's good. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Yeah. If you wake up and don't want to smile, if it takes just a little while, open your eyes. Yeah, I just, oh, it just pick me up. It's like, come on, come on, come on. Let's get up. Let's get going. Let's do this. Let's step into the world. Let's be optimistic and hopeful about the future. And I know it's not easy. And let's just do that. This song by Fleetwood Mac. Don't stop is good for that for me. Okay. So now I feel good. Like, see, my heart feels open. It feels uplifted. Some of the words I really like don't stop thinking about tomorrow because tomorrow is more positive, more hopeful. You, there's hope. There's hope, you know? It's like, don't let it go, you know? Don't let, don't let whatever's happening today, whatever happened yesterday, don't let it define you. Just regroup, you know? Regroup. Okay get up and move and dance and stuff. Yeah, ooh, I love that, okay. All right, <laughs> this is kind of a fun Sunday morning coffee. Okay, so we're gonna take these out. There's other things that you can do, obviously, to get inspired or to have inputs coming into you. 
Music is the easiest way, but you could listen to a podcast. You could listen to, um, I like to listen to the We Can Do Hard Things podcast, yeah, by Glennon Doyle and uh, her sister Amanda, and sometimes her wife Abby Wambach is also on there as well. Um, there's other ones also. There is There are a couple of other podcasts that I listen to also, but, but, and there are also books on audio and things too. And, and even on YouTube, you can listen to speeches, like motivational speakers, like life coaches that you resonate with that just help you to feel good and better. And maybe even like preachers and things, you know, like if you're, if you're a fan of that and you like that kind of vibe and um, you can listen to that, as long as the messages that are coming in for you resonate with you and allow you to feel inspired, like into a place where there's a spirited connection for you that is hopeful, optimistic, and positive, that's what you need, right? That's what you need. And I'm very serious about saying that some days just getting a shower can be inspiring. Like just that fresh water on you, freshening up, putting on some makeup or putting in a pair of earrings, which I don't have right now, uh, putting on some jewelry or something or perfume or lighting a candle that smells good. I just got the best smelly candles for the holidays. So good. So good. Lighting one of those just makes me feel good. And so that can be inspiring. And the scent of it too, they're smelly candles. So like the scent of it, I'm very sensory. So like the scents, the smells, the auditory pieces are super key for me right now which is what Sunday morning coffee is about also to pass that information on to you. So if you do feel really sensitive energetically, or if you feel like you've disconnected from your emotions and you feel like you just can't show up for people and you just feel kind of numb or empty, that might be a very strong indicator that you are not getting inputs for yourself. The inputs that are coming in are requests for you to have outputs. <laughs> And so you just turned everything off. You've got to learn how to be in a healthy state of receiving. And simple little inspiring little things can do that for you. You know, a special necklace that your grandma gave you, um, a great lip gloss. Like, that's my thing. I'm constantly putting, in fact, I don't have any close to me, but I'm constantly putting lip gloss on. It's like a Bridget thing. It's like my security thing. And I like lots of different colored ones and that kind of thing. That's my thing. And perfume or essential oils. Um, for inspiration, you can also do visual stimulant. So you can physically sketch or draw or paint or do those color books that they have nowadays, or you can use cards like card decks. Like these are the Sacred Traveler Denise Lund card decks that I share on my Fairy Grasshopper channel a lot because this is a really practical, easy to use deck. But the pictures, the imagery that are in here, oh, here's one, here's a good one. Um, this is visual stimulant, right? That is inspiring. Staying focused, hold the course. So there's so many different things you can do, you guys. And I know this season is not not easy because I know that senses are so heightened right now. Oh my gosh. But let's utilize it. Let's get inspired instead of um, deflated. Let's, let's not buy into the hype of giving so much that we just have nothing left for ourselves. It's not about that. You can be constantly resourced and you are totally a renewable resource. Your energy is, it doesn't seem that way, but it is. And when it's not that way, it's because you're not getting adequate input. It doesn't mean you have to stop giving to everyone. It means you have to start receiving intentionally say, I want to be inspired. I want inspiration. It might be in a cute shirt that someone gives you that you love. Like my sister, this is, this is really sweet. Hello, Sunday morning coffee. I mean, it's like so perfect, isn't it? So perfect, yes. Like that, you know, some just that sweetness, that genuineness. And that happens in moments. That happens by small little subtle choices that you make as to what kind of music you listen to and the words and the music and what you resonate with or feel from that, you know? It does not have to be complicated, my friends. It does not have to be. So let's step into this month of December together and let's intentionally connect with things that inspire us. It doesn't have to be expensive either. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it at the store, okay? It's already around you. It's already in your sphere, okay? So tap in and intentionally receive inspiration.
It will help motivate you. It will help keep your energy uplifted, lighter, more positive and healthy for you in all of the different areas of your life. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to this Sunday morning coffee podcast with Bridget here on Above Life Channel. If you're looking for other inspiring videos by me, oops, by me, you can check out my Fairy Grasshopper, Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel where I share about a lot of different kinds of intuitive topics. I do card readings and I also do some channeling over there sometimes with archangels and other spirit guides as well as I do a blog, just a blog to get to know me. So Thanks so much for being here. I hope we've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope, and encouraged you to live your life inspired. That is, it's your life after all, so live it. You get this chance to live it. Just.